So in the Soviet Union, there was definitely no freedom of speech, or there was limited freedom of speech. In, in Kampuchea, in other words, Cambodia under Pol Pot, there was essentially no freedom of speech at all. In the United States, there is freedom of speech. There, there certainly free speech is very limited in many ways, but it's not limited by the government, and uh, and uh, it's it's limited in in ways that are hard to define, but that are very real. But but it's also unlimited in certain other ways. I mean, no matter what you believe, you can you can publish it on Amazon, you can say it on YouTube, and you will not be censored. I mean, I'm pretty sure about this. And um, the question arises, well, why, why is this the case? I mean, okay, so we do have, we do have uh, you know, a constitutional guarantee of, of free speech. That's true, and that's obviously a big part of it. But there's something else going on, because the same, the same types of forces that, that were at work in the Soviet Union and the same types of forces that are at work in places where freedom of speech is really limited, those those same forces are at work in the United States. It's just a uh, just a matter of fact. I mean, human nature is human nature, and uh, and and there is inevitably censorship of some kind or other. And it's very clear that that in the United States, just as in the Soviet Union, uh, one is very limited uh, in in respect of what one, what one can say. But um, when you actually try to identify how one is silenced in the United States, it turns out to be very hard to do so, because we're, we're certainly not legally silenced. I mean, that, that's not going to happen. You can say whatever you want, and you will not be arrested for it. And you can, you can publish it on Amazon. I mean, even they will not block you, so far as I know. And YouTube certainly will not block you. So, but here I figured it out, which is that in the United States, it's about marketing. The reason you could not say whatever you wanted to say in the Soviet Union is that in the Soviet Union, if you had a viewpoint, whether you were heard did not really depend on how well you marketed yourself. It was not a it was not a marketing based. Uh, it, it was it was not it was not a country in which in which in which viewpoints were marketed in any real sense and it was not a it was not a it was not a context in which a given viewpoints being known about depended on its being marketed somehow viewpoints were propagated without being marketed in any in any kind of direct in any literal sense but in the united states everything is about marketing i mean you can say whatever the hell you want to say uh, and you can say it on YouTube, and you can say it in these venues that are technically public, but you might as well just be talking to your roommate, because unless you really understand how products and services and ideas are marketed and distributed, you're just whistling in the wind. It's fine. You can do that. It's, it's, it's wonderful to make videos and audios and, and uh, to express yourself. There's a lot to be learned from it. And you will not run into, you, you know, nobody's going to, to, you're not going to get any legal trouble. You might get into other kinds of trouble if people, if you don't anonymize yourself, but that's a different matter altogether. I mean, that's always going to be the case, no matter how free a society you live in. But, um, but it is a fact that unless you really are, unless, unless you're, Unless you're, unless whatever it is that you are saying or selling or offering is being professionally marketed, and I don't, I can't say too much more than that because I, I'm, I'm, I myself am on the wrong side of this marketing, this, this invisible but incredibly powerful marketing apparatus or apparat collection of apparatuses. But unless your position is really being professionally marketed, you're essentially just. Uh, having a private exchange. I mean, yes, YouTube is technically public, just as a public park is public, but if you go to a public park and talk with your friend, sit in a park bench and talk with your best friend, you know, there, yes, technically your exchange is, is public because it's in a public place, but it's not public. And, uh, you know, if, if you go on YouTube and you make a video, uh, video, 
they will they will not censor you. They will not censor you. Um, and um, in fact, they will not. YouTube itself, so far as I can tell, will not really do anything to to suppress uh, what you're saying. It, it, it will. Uh, I mean, as far as I can tell, it's it's done by computer, and if you make a video. Uh, you know, they'll give it as much, uh, you know, I, I make uh, YouTube videos. I mean, they have almost no viewers. Um, and But, you know, just kind of about my books and things like that. Little little promos. And, you know, if you if you type in the keywords, my, my videos show up appropriately. But, you know, they get two viewers. Um, and are they great videos? No. Uh, but, you know, they're passable. And... Uh, you know, and then then I, I will uh, go to some other YouTube channel, and this person will be saying absolutely nothing, okay, and they will have 175,000 viewers. So, in this country, what is often basically what was done in the Soviet Union through actual legal and and basically through police state coercion, okay, what was done, what is done in other places through legal coercion is done in this country through marketing. Okay, so yes, we do have free speech, and that is very important. That really is important. And and there and I don't know that there's really a well defined entity that, that has the kind of monopoly on power that, you know, the Soviet government that the Communist Party of the Soviet Union had on on power in the Soviet Union. I don't, I don't think that it is the case in this country. But um but but in this country, marketing forces or, or actual marketing agencies, whatever the right term is, have determined what it is that is, is heard and what it is that is not heard. So they obviously don't determine what is said, but they determine what will actually, they determine what it is, they determine what will actually be heard among the things that are actually said. So, and that that is the reason, or a big part of the reason, why even though there are very clearly institutions and people who want certain views suppressed, just as there are in any given place, uh, even though that is the case, uh, we still are not subject to any actual formal uh, restrictions on free speech, and th that's why everybody's that's why they're comfortable with the situation. So in, in, the, in the United States, the people who want to express genuinely, genuinely contrarian viewpoints, genuinely contrarian viewpoints, not faux contrarian viewpoints, but those people can can blabber away to their heart's content on YouTube, and so they feel good. You know, they can talk to their four YouTube buddies, uh, and at the same time, the people uh, who they're they're uh, speaking against aren't don't feel threatened because those people know that you know uh, unless those people uh, that that without marketing without some kind of propagation without unless their views are propagandized in the Edmund Bernays sense unless they're actually propagated professionally literally professionally by marketing companies or whoever it is that does it nothing's going to happen uh, so in the United States, basically, so in the United States, um, speaking publicly but without the assistance of professional marketing is doing that is to life in the United States what speaking to your best friend or to your family members would be in the Soviet Union. So in the Soviet Union, you could, you know, you could tell your dad that you thought Brezhnev was an idiot. That was fine. What you could not do is, you know, say it in a classroom. Or say it in a kind of public place. Now, in this country, you can say whatever the hell you want to say, um, and you can even say it on YouTube. But what you cannot do is say it with the assistance of of uh, of you. You cannot say it in a way that that will be marketed or propagated.